this is our soil warrior, the twin tank, two commodities with the single delivery. Um, we have it set up right now with the twin coulter and uh, we're running two eight wave directional coulters on the back um, and then the 13 wave, we put the lead coulter kit on it. It has got a widening kit on it to fit our twin rows onto one berm. So it's a little wider than their standard ones. Now the widening kit is just basically these hockey puck spacers on each side that kind of gives it that extra. It makes it eight inches between from center hub to center hub on the two back discs. And that's the same as what our seat openers on our planter are. So it, the planter pretty well sits right in those and follows really nice. Um, we got the row cleaners on it. We run those just tickling away in the spring. In the fall, we just pin those right on up. Uh, in the fall, we, we, we added the baskets the second year that we liked it to paddle it down some. We, our, one of our learning curves was we were getting too aggressive with our confinement wheels and we were leaving a ridge along the edge and on the side of a hill the water would try to follow it. The baskets eliminated all of that by just kind of fanning some out there. We don't run a lot of pressure, nothing you can tell. We, we don't even, we took all our springs off and everything so they're just kind of, we're not really, they're just kind of paddling around. Um, it's a steerable cart so it, it helps us follow quite a bit. Uh, Everything, there's a lot of swath management, all headlands and straights and everything are all, all in the monitor. If you can find them most of the time. Uh, we've uh, never really had a lot of issues with really anything that we've had to swap out or change on anything. Um, we've gone through the road cleaners a few times, different, different setups and and moved them around trying to either get it wider or narrower but we we often just found that if we got it w them wider we would throw it into the pass we had already done so we just we try not to get real aggressive with the row cleaners too much and just let the all the coulters do most of the work uh it's a two tank two commodities that uh come out of the one delivery system so that that's pretty nice that for the variable rating end of it and that it comes out the same delivery uh all it's everything else is self-contained on it's got its own air compressor and everything to keep everything all charged all the time now when we do use this for putting cover crops in we'll uh blow oats and buckwheat through it and we will tip you can adjust the the delivery and we'll loosen them up and we'll tip those uh, wands all the way back so it's not burying the seed it's kind of just blowing it into the basket and letting it kind of paddle it around uh, we added the boots onto the end of them when we we originally started we were running the deep cog system and uh, that helped us to get it a little bit more down into behind that cog with uh to get a little more of the fertilizer below than what we were piling up on top. But other than that, it's a pretty intimidating machine, but it the, the idea behind what it's doing is simple enough to grasp. 